No, so in today's video, we're going to look at this particular periodic sequence. Um, so this is a periodic sequence of order four. So this is the same sequence we looked at yesterday, or one of the sequences. So this is a periodic sequence of order four because the sequence repeats itself every four times. And we're just going to answer a couple of questions today. So the first question we're going to answer is what is the 50th term of the sequence? And then the next question we're going to answer is what is the sum of the first 50 terms? So if we add up the first 50 numbers in the sequence, what do we get um, as a result? Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to a new page. Um, I'm going to call, uh, just write out the sequence again to 3, 2, 1, uh, 0. Um, and again, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 0 again, and so on and so on. Uh, I'm going to call this first term here. So I know that before we've been using A0 for a first term. Uh, just for convenience, I'm going to call this A1. Uh, I'm going to call this term here A2. I'm going to call this A3, uh, A4 and so on and so on. So I'm just going to call them by that rather than uh, A0 is our starting one for this uh, for sequence here. So the first question essentially wants us to find out. So question one uh, is to find uh, A50. So you want to find the 50th term. Let's find A50. And then our second question is basically to find the sum of the first 50 terms. So we're going to sum using the sigma notation, the sum notation. So sum from the first term up to the 50th term um our sequence so our a n which is our nth term of the sequence so a1 plus a2 plus a3 uh, up to our 50th term there so we're just summing up these a values our, our, our terms in our sequence so for question number one then let's start with question number one um so we want to find a50 so let's think about this we've got a periodic sequence of order four um, so the sequence repeats itself every multiple of four. So basically what we can say is that uh, since we know that A1 uh, is the number three, and so is A5 over here, this is A5 here, um, Every because the sequence repeats itself every four terms, we know that A1 is going to be equal to A5, which is equal to A9, which is equal to A13 and so on and so on and so on, uh, which is going to be the number three. So we know that we know that A2 is going to be equal to A6. Again, every fourth term, the sequence repeats itself. So A2, the second term, is equal to A6, the sixth term, and the tenth term, and the fourteenth term, and so on and so on. Uh, so this is going to give us uh, the number two. Uh, likewise with the third term, the seventh term, the eleventh term, and the fifteenth term, uh, we're going to get the number one. And with our fourth term, and our eighth term and our um, 12th term, our 16th term, we're going to get the number zero. OK, so let's think about this then. So the fourth, so these terms are on the bottom here, the fourth term, eighth term, 12th term, 16th term. The, I mean, this is the four times table here. So we know our four times table. So we know that A40 is going to be zero as well, because 40 is in the four times tables. Uh, A44 is going to be zero. And also A48, because 48 is in the four times tables as well, will also be zero. So if A48 is zero, so if A48, the, the 48th term is zero, then that means that A49, the 49th term in the sequence, goes back to the number three, because remember, it's a periodic sequence of order four. It's repeating itself. So the next number, if the, if you've got a number zero in the sequence, the next number must be the number three. So A49 is going to be three. And A50 is going to be the next number in the sequence, the number two. So therefore, yeah, we get that the 50th term in the sequence must be equal to the number two. Uh, so I'm just going to make the writing smaller. Um, so therefore, um, a50, the 50th term, is the number two. So that's the first question done. Now let's look at the sum uh, of the first 50 terms. So we're going to sum uh, from 1 to 50 uh, the first 50 numbers in our sequence. Um, OK, so we know that um, if we sum the first uh, like four terms, so one, uh, 3, 2, 1, 0, because remember again, it's a periodic sequence of order four. Um, if we if we sum those terms, I mean, let's just make do some like rough work down here. So uh, a one, a one plus a two plus a three plus a four is three plus two plus one plus zero. So that's going to give us the number six. So we know that the sum 
from n equals one up to four so the sum of the first four terms we know that that's going to be six because we just worked that out so that's going to be the number six so that means the sum of the uh so let's think about this so the sum of the first eight terms is going to be the number 12 so six plus six the number 12 why is that true because again the sequence is repeating itself every four terms so the sum of these terms is six there the sum of those terms is six the sum of the next four is six so the sum of the first eight is going to be six plus six so two lots of six which is 12 so we know that the sum of the the, the first to the eighth term will be 12 so we know that the sum um if we think about our four times tables again, using what we did back here. So 48 was in our four times tables. So the sum of the first 48 terms, so from n equals one up to 48, the sum of those 48 terms is going to be the number six because the sum of the first four terms is six and the sum of every four terms in our sequence gives us six. And then if we think about it, 48 divided by four, that's the number 12. So we're going to do six times by 12, um, because again, uh, 12, 4 is going to 48. So 6 times 12, that's going to give us a value of 72. So 72 is the sum of the first 48 terms. Now we've got these extra terms to add on to get our 50th, uh, the sum of the 50 terms. So the sum from n equals 1 up to 50. So that's going to be the sum from n equals 1 up to 48 plus the 49th term and plus the 50th term. So we know that the sum from one to 49 is 72. Now our 49th term is gonna be three because we worked that out over here. So that's three. And then our 50th term is the number two because we worked that out there, so plus two. So our sum of our first 50 terms is gonna be 72 plus three plus two. So that's going to give us 77. So when we add up the first 50 terms, the answer is going to be 77 and that is our uh, result so yeah that answers both those questions so with this question we found the 50th term just by using the fact that it's a periodic sequence of order four so uh the 48th term is going to be uh the number zero so therefore the 49th is th uh, three and the 50th is going to be two and then we can sum the first 50 terms by summing up to 48 because 48 is a multiple of four so you can do uh 48 divided by four which gives you 12 12 times by six because six is the sum of the first four terms or every four terms um so times up by six to get 72 and then add uh, the number three the number two your 49 and your 50 of terms to get a value of 77 uh so yeah that concludes today's video just a brief example of how we deal with periodic uh a periodic sequence